I tried to schedule my own task in Windows 10, but as of today, in December 2019, there's a bug in the wizard that prevents me from creating it until I found a workaround. I'm going to show you the bug and what I did to get around it. First, I'm going to create a working example task in the tradition of Hello World so that I can use it to demonstrate the problem. I'm using the Windows key plus R to run a program by name. I'll start by making a directory to put my demo files in. Then I'll change directory to it and use Notepad to create a very simple Visual Basic script file. I'll just put a message box that says Hello YouTube. And if I run that by typing its name, you can see what it does. And incidentally, if I bring up the folder with this file in it and double click it, the same message box comes up. So I'm going to use this example task to demonstrate the process of using the task scheduler wizard as though I wanted to do this task every day or upon some other trigger. You can find the task scheduler wizard somewhere in the Windows administrative tools, but I find it easier to remember the name. So this is what the task scheduler looks like. We go into the tasks library. You'll probably find tasks in there that applications have added for themselves, but I'm going to add my own. Right click and create a basic task. You'll have to give it a name. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll keep the trigger default since I don't even need to get it to trigger. The important bit is that under start a program, I browse to my hello file and accept the path to it. After clicking finish, the task would be set to run every day at this time, but I can run it immediately with the context menu. And in this case, it works as it should. OK, I'll get rid of that working one now and show how it goes wrong. I'm going to go into my folder structure, go up one folder and rename YouTube to YouTube. Now I'm going back to the task scheduler and do exactly what I did before, but with the file in the renamed location. OK, it all looks the same, but when I try to run the program, it asks me, how do you want to open this file? This seems a very strange question until you realise what happened here. To demonstrate, I'll pick Notepad because it gives a useful error message. Here we go. It cannot find the file, which is darn strange since we just browsed to it with the File Explorer but look carefully at the file it can't find. It stops at the space. There's clearly a parsing error due to the space in the file name. It's added .txt as a default extension for Notepad. I can tell you, I looked for a way to fix this with all different kinds of quoting on the path, but if I tried to add quotes, the wizard tried to handle the space by passing what followed as command parameters. 
basically the wizard and the scheduler disagreed about the number of quotes present. I did find a sane workaround, and I'll show it to you. I had to use the export-import mechanism. I use the context menu on the broken task and choose export, which saves it to an XML file. I'm going to edit it with Notepad++ just because of the syntax highlighting, but you can use the regular one. It already has quotes, so the task scheduler obviously adds another layer of quotes and they end up cancelled out. I'll remove the quotes and save the file. Now, let's try adding that. I need the import option. There it is. Opens in the right folder to its credit. Oh, OK, I can't have two tasks with the same name. The broken one is still there, so I'll add a one to this one's name. Accept that and try it. And there we are, it's working again, even with the space in the name. I hope that made sense and the workaround is useful to you. And as always, thanks for watching to the end.